Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, where today I'm going to do part 7 to my mostly let's play of Evo Pop that's on my iPad. Now guys, I don't only know if this episode starts, that we do not have remain I'm supposed to make for this episode, and uh... That would be weird for me to say, and also, if I don't have much to say, then why not I have my camera turned over here? Well, I think the main reason is because I did have an announcement or two to make to you guys, but like I said, i got to be very quick about it. First off, I'm going to let you know about this. I want you to get the clock on the screen real quick. As you can see, it says it is 11.45. I tested my grandma earlier. If you guys that don't know, today is a Sunday. Um, for you guys that also don't know, on on Fridays, my grandma will pack her stuff and go somewhere else for a little while, stay with somebody else for a little while, and then she'll come back most every Sunday unless she doesn't have to work. Then she decides to stay there longer. Um, let me go ahead and let you know about this right now. It is 11:46. I was gonna say 11:45, but it didn't change right when I point at it. Um, it is 11.46 right now. My, gra my grandma tested earlier and said she'd probably be home around 1. But I didn't really get a clear message on that. Because I tested her earlier about what she was making for dinner. Because she was... Because sometime yesterday when she got groceries, I was half asleep on this counter. But I remember being like, waking up and being like half asleep still. But hearing her say something about like, onions between the meat. And somehow after that, she fell like a, I fell like asleep. Um, I tested her about that earlier, and she said she was thinking about cooking steaks, and she wanted to get my mom to start it. Then I saw what she said before she left, too, because I think I remember her saying that like, she wanted my mom to start it if she could. Um, unfortunately, she never did, and I told my grandma that. And uh, she literally said that, like, well, did your mom start the steaks? Then I told her no, and I told her she was about to go to sleep. She said to wake her, wake her up, to make them. And while I tried waking her, she said she didn't know how to make them. Test after that was, the test that she said after that, said that, well, it's like we can have anything then. So I don't think we're going to be having no food today because of that. I don't know why. My grandma said she is going to be home super late today, though, and that's why I can't really talk much. Because she tested me a few times. I tested her sometime after that, asking her, like, well, what time do you think you'll be home, and stuff like that. And she said she don't know yet, or she does not know yet. I tested her, asking her why she was going to be home so late, because she did tell me she's going to be home pretty late this time. Um, and she never gave me a clear answer. She said, she kept saying, don't know, and probably around one. Well, she kept getting the message wrong. Asked her why. She'd come home so late, and she kept texting, around one. Or, I don't know. And, like, I couldn't get a clear message. So, I am going to text her right after. I mean, um. Oh, that ain't what I meant to say. But basically, I tested her for a little while, and I still couldn't get a clear message out of her. Even before I ended it, I still couldn't get a clear message. I just gave up on trying and, be, and just said, Alright, see you when you get home. Love you. The last text I got was, Love you too. That's it. That's all I got. <laughs> and I may sound weird, but that actually comes, in the, comes into concern with this clock on the screen here. Uh, I'm trying to see my... There we go. It comes into concern with that clock up here. Mainly because, well, as I just said, one of the she sent me was, she's probably going to be home around 1, which means at most, we might not be able to finish this. I don't know. Although the last few videos of this series has actually been pretty bad with the, um, or been pretty good about saying the mostly let's play. Because lately it has been, well, actually the tile should be even changed at this point. Because from like part four, three, four, five onwards, I've been doing more other games than not. I've been doing other games other than Evo Pop. 
However, guys, I am trying to change my ways and get back into and trying to get back into Evo Pop itself. I actually um left a review on the app store that had the game in it. I actually gave the game four stars. I saw other people's reviews and it, and it kept saying like they can't that that most people didn't well the app had four point five star rating, but most of the ones I saw only had two and one stars in their rating and talked about how the game was either too easy or how the game wouldn't um how the game was like kind of misleading everybody. One of the things I completely read said that like according to the game you you could have a chance of doing multiplayer. As you can see in the game there was really no multiplayer. But honestly, I don't mind about there not being multiplayer. But like, how would you play on the same device over and over again? And what's there's a way you can like connect to the same server as one of your friends on a different device? I honestly like the game no matter what. I left a review myself with four stars that said, "Hey, you have a great game." I do have one problem with it, however, that being the game glitches of how the game glitches out. I talked about how whenever I'm in the middle of a match, you guys see this can catch on video, we'll be in the middle of a match and then the game just randomly close out. It's like it can't handle its own processing. That's how I said it last time. What I mean by that is like <laughs> the game was kinda designed to do stuff like that. Like they designed the game to like have that balloon guy keep growing so they can't really have the game close out because of that. I told them literally that if you can if you can update the game to where it won't close out so often, I'll give it five stars. I gave it four stars, and that's a pretty good thing to have. I love the game a lot. I actually tried looking up videos for Evo Pop again on YouTube because actually a few weeks ago, or about a week ago, I was trying to look it up, and none of them was showing up. However, I looked it up again. There was actually like two videos on Evo Pop, or like three videos, but they're only like three minutes long. So yeah, there's more than just that, but it was mainly just three videos plus the ones I made. My videos even popped up while I typed in Evo Pop Part One. My videos popped up, which is pretty insane. So yeah, guys, like I said, I can't waste too much time for this episode because I don't know how long I'm gonna have to do this. I may have two, three hours, or I may have till my battery actually runs dead. But at the same time, guys, you gotta keep note that there may be times where I'll get bored. Um, that's never a good thing, but it actually keeps the video at a limit, in a way. I'm sure if I never gotten bored, this video would, or all the videos of Evil Pop would end up about five, about three to five hours long, because of the fact that my battery goes dead by that time. You can bet money that if my thing was plugged up and I never got bored, dude, the video would be like over 12 hours. And that's only if the thing was plugged up and I never got bored. But eventually we get to the point where I ain't going to play that game again. Plus, I don't want to overdo it in one episode because if we, as we've seen before, games we overdo kind of screws us up. Some games I haven't played in a long time, and like I said, that's kind of another reason why I'm doing the Let's Mostly Play instead of doing a Let's Play of the game. I'm doing a Let's Mostly Play, because now I can switch between games if I really need to. I need to give other games like Pet and Neba attention again. Along with that, I also need to give them games like Fishy Bits and Eat Me .io. Eat Me .io is one of the big ones because I need more than trust to buy more stuff to feed the fish with to get him to get that next evolution. I was already starting to feed the puffer fish guy so he could grow up. Unfortunately, the only time I've been getting bowls is by waiting every day to get a daily bonus. I haven't been playing the game off camera or anything. I've been only doing it on camera. That's something I need to, I need to get back on the ball with that. For sure. So yeah, guys. Like I said, I'm getting a lot better about doing Evo Pop only for each episode. However, key note that that might not happen every time. I am going to go in, I don't remember the name of the company that made the game, but I'm going to go in and let you know. A company that made Evo Pop, good job for a wonderful game. The only thing I ask that you fix is the problem with the game closing out during a match. Like I said, I left them a review talking about how the game was great, but it had that if, if, if you issue with that specifically. 
So yeah. I'm going to waste too much more time because it is almost 12 o'clock and I might only have about an hour per hour to do this. Um, normally I'd be going on for 20, 30 minutes, but honestly I don't have many announcements for this episode to begin with. Along with that, like I said, waste too much time. We run out of time. We can have a clock already being at 11.54. It's almost 12 o'clock and we may only have till 1. I don't know. We may only have till 12.30. Heck, if I know, I'll have to find out myself. So, yeah, guys. I don't have my iPad over here again, but that's mostly because I don't want it to run dead. Because the longer I leave it sitting here unemployed, it's going to run dead on me. And then that's the last battery we have. Well, I shouldn't say it's going to run dead, because it probably does, does not go, down and go dead that fast. But, however, since they're leaving unemployed, that 1% or 2% that it loses might be the cost of us. Especially if I have fun with the game throughout the entire episode. And don't ever get bored with it. Which probably ain't gonna happen, but like, there's a there's always a small chance that like I'll sit there and want to do the game for like four or five hours straight. Which this episode definitely won't be that because of the fact that again we're gonna run out of time. We only got about an hour and a half at most, maybe maybe more. Like I guess I don't know completely because of the text being kind of unclear. The text didn't really help me, so I don't know whether we're gonna have to one, well we're gonna have to twelve thirty, two, three. If we have to three, we have plenty of time, because I'll be good, good by then. I think even two would be good enough time, because I'd give us three hours. And that's only how long the videos of Evo Pop usually last. Well, Evo Pop itself. Lately, the videos have been getting a lot shorter with that. Most of the time, the videos are like two or three hours, but an hour or two of that is literally me playing a different game. I'm going to try and make the game Evo Pop the whole gist of this episode. I will switch between guys occasionally, but I am going to do the same thing I've been doing in previous episodes and just use the balloon guy mainly. However, I've been having a lot more good luck with the camo guy and kind of the glutton guy as well, so I might be switching between them two very often today. I am also very close to having enough tickets, them little pink tickets, to buying another Evo that's a three star. So if I can unlock that in this episode, we'll use it at least once or twice. And it depends on what guy it is. If it's a good guy that I, if it's a good guy that I actually will like, then yeah, we'll definitely use it. Otherwise, no. And guys, I also did find that I actually did look up the label on the ghost Evo because I find that it's kind of cheap. I actually found out that the main reason why you can never eat the Evos or them ghost Evos is because of the fact they're they're invisible. Here's the thing: you can you, they're supposed to be. What they're supposed to do is, like, be invisible the entire time so they can be hidden from people. You can still kind of see them because it's transparent. You can still see them at least a little bit. But, however, you cannot eat them. However, if they start moving, if they're, like, moving around, that's when you can eat them. That's why we can never beat the ghost guys because they have to move, the, the evil has to be moving around in order to be seen and eaten. So, that's why it's so hard to beat the ghost dude. The virus dude's almost impossible. There's a bunch of guys I have a lot of trouble with. In the first few parts, I kept calling it the virus guy, or the virus dude. But I'm actually wrong. I meant to say poison dude. The poison dude's what's annoying. Because the virus guy that I keep talking about actually is a little bit different. Instead of, like, completely eating you and messing you up, every Evo that it, like, touches actually goes to your side. Which means it's giving you extra evos, it's not destroying them. It's something like that. So yeah, hopefully that's one of my unlock. If I'm very excited about unlocking any of them, I think I'm very excited to be unlocking hopefully the poison dude or the virus dude or something. But I think the virus dude's like a higher star ranking. I'm gonna do them all in order. I'm gonna get all the three star ones and all the four star ones and all the five star all the five star ones and blah 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 blah. I don't know if it's actually needed or, I don't know if it's actually right or not, but I actually looked up on the App Store while looking it up and seeing, like, if it showed when this game was actually made. I don't know if this is when the game was actually made, but I did see something that said 1W ago, which means one week ago. I'm starting to believe that maybe that's when the game was made, which is kind of interesting because I've been having a lot of fun with the game ever since it came out. And if it's that recently made, holy crap, that's pretty neat. And that also gives me a little bit more hope on the things we see online, or on the game itself, that say coming soon. 
if you go to the end of the row of Evos that's there, you'll see a thing that says coming soon, which means there's going to be more Evos added, hopefully. The same thing with the stages, too. There's a few more stages that are going to unlock, but however, at the end of it, it says coming soon, which means maybe later on, maybe this game becomes popular, which may, hopefully it will. Um, maybe we'll, maybe it'll have more stages. Hopefully it don't become what you die I went and just get deleted. Well, that's what I say it is, because, like, I have seen on the App Store, when I, when I restarted the, when I did the, sorry about that, whenever I redid, or whenever I did part 47 to my iPad and Tablet gameplay series, after, when I done the, another redemption attempt, I actually ended up looking for that game as one of the first ones to have. Unfortunately, type in Dino Island, it don't pop up no more. So I'm guessing that tonight after I deleted it, they deleted the game themselves. Which I guess in a way is kind of fine, because like I said, if I would have found that out while playing the game, or while having fun with it, I would have been kind of devastated, because I love that game. That was, the only complaint I really have about that game is how long it takes to get certain things done. Oh, there's a lot of games that are worse. There's a game that I would like to play that's on the app store. It's called Dragon Story. However, the food in that game is hard to earn. Very hard to earn. So hard that it probably take me literally like two, three months to even have enough, to, enough stuff to do. Because the thing about that is the dragons do grow up. But they grow up at like level four. I think level seven and they have a final evolution at level ten or something like that. That's a legendary evolution. However, again, it's hard to get because it costs a lot to get to. And, uh, it would take me forever. So, yeah, that's one reason why I don't ever try to play that game. But, anyway. It's been a while. It's been a while, guys. It's already 12.01. I've got to get started soon. I'm going to go ahead and get the camera turned around like I always do. And see if I can get adjusted correctly. And we'll have some fun with Evo Pop for about an hour and a half. Maybe longer if we're lucky, but most likely that's going to be only like an hour and a half. We'll see, though. Anyway, guys, I'm going to get the camera turned around. I'll grab, I'll bring my iPad over here next. i got to get it unlocked and do all that first anyway, so yeah. If y'all are sensitive for noise, please cover your ears right now. I'm giving you, I'm giving you three seconds, and then we got to get started. Three, two... One. Excuse me. All right. There we go. Let me make sure of something real quick. Let me just a little bit more. There we go. I'm sorry, I had to get a good camera position on it. So yeah, we're going to play Evo Pop. And I'm trying to debate where I should do the camo guy because I still have it on there from the last time. Or should I switch over to the balloon dude? I might switch over to the balloon dude, but I, probably, I will be doing the camo guy a lot this episode too. I'm going to the glutton guy. So yeah. Let me go and get my iPad on lot, then we'll get to it. I am also going to let you know right now that Candy Crush might also be starting pretty soon. And I'll also continue my Let's Play Dino Bash at one point in time as well. I just don't know when to start that back yet. So yeah. Let me get the camera adjusted. I got, I'm probably going to turn the brightness down a little bit too. Because I noticed that the last time we did this it was a, it was a little bit too bright. Maybe that will fix it. 
I'm really trying to debate where I should go and switch over to the balloon dude or I should just do the camo dude because it's the first one on there. I seem to do better with the, the um, camo guy. Boy, I also want to use the balloon dude some too. I'm going to go and switch for the balloon dude. Yeah, it's still on the camo dude from before. We do got a lot of them um, pink tickets. And we actually go to the Evo Lab. You actually see it. We need 3,000. We can get an epic Evo level 3. So, yeah, I'm going to go and, I'm gonna go and switch over real quick to the balloon, dude, and we'll get started. This is who we'll be using the entire time. We actually did get him fully upgraded as well. Him and the Camo Dude are probably my two favorite ones so far. But I do have other favorite ones with the Glutton one. I might end up using him some too. But not right now. We get, we're going with a Turtle Dude and the Spike Dude. I don't remember what the Baby... I don't remember what the Spike one does. I think it might just sticks to walls. I don't know if it can eat you or not. I believe it can. We're going to do the same strategy we do all the time with this one. And we're going to let it grow huge. And then we're going to split it. As you can see, I like how this one grows faster than the up. I think they updated the game, and I like how fast this one actually does grow now. Here we go. It's already starting off pretty good. Here we go. As long as they don't close out, we should be good. Wow. Look at that. We barely begin. It already does this. You see what I mean? That's the one thing that I told him was a problem with this game. Think if it's that, that game, this game would be great. Of course, it'll start really good and then that happens. That's what I mean, too. I hope it don't do it every time I redo it, I'll be able to earn something. If it's to a point where this game quits earning me stuff, I'm screwed. So we're going against. Oh, no, not the glutton, dude. The hover dude's kind of annoying too. All the oh, we already got to go into it. Let's see. Okay, now. Okay, I hope we don't take that one to grow every time. See, that was a little bit taking to forever. Some rounds it takes a while. Some rounds it don't. See, you see how long it's taking now. I let them grow one or two more, then we'll uh, split. I let them do one more. Come on. Why did it take so long for that to happen?
if we can get some of these smaller guys to push that bigger guy off, we might be able to knock some of these guys out over here. There we go, it's working. Hey, that actually really worked out very well. Holy crap, well that's not good. No, it's not holy dang gone. Oh my lord! How did he get so big? Did they really grow up? Oh no, that's not good. Oh, this is not good. There's no way we're winning that. Did you see that? One man, he's pretty small, and that's man, he's just waiting with gross, huge, out of nowhere. And the hover dudes are kind of annoying too. Are you kidding me? I wish you get. I wish you could also pick your color of your Evo. Like you can change your color to like whatever color you want. Green. I'd love to have mine green.
There we go, I won. See, you can win with these dudes, you just have to be kind of lucky. The big strategy for winning with this dude is you have to kind of lucky with it, but if the strategy works, it works, or it can work. Basically, what you have to do is let your guy grow up, your first guy to get in the beginning, grow up to be really big, and once it gets maybe a quarter to halfway the size he was, then split him up, and then keep going like that, kind of. Doing pretty good right now. If we win two more matches, we have enough to unlock that thing that gives us more than pink things. To unlock more, just more than pink tickets to unlock more than Evos. We got a feral guy for our next one, and the ghost. Dang, I hate the ghost. It's probably even worse than some of the other dudes I face so far. Come on, come on, he's got a swat on. Dang it, what's the most fought? There we go. I can see him here close to the edge. Come on. There we go.
There we are. Dang it. Why does he keep doing that? And granted, if I beat him, it would take forever, but at the same time, that's the exact thing I kept. That's the exact thing I told him in a review. If I can make that stop, this game would be perfect. I love this game. I ain't fun just playing with the balloon guy alone. I might, I'm gonna switch around, I think, at least once or twice in this. But I'm having a lot of fun with just him alone because I know the strategy to win most of the time. I always win a lot of the time. Never mind, I guess the poisonous dude, he's annoying. And he's already not growing that fast, I don't know. I need to get up there. I want to try to go up to the troll dudes and at least get away from the poison dude. We need at least one guy to go up this way. Oops. Come
No! Every single time I'm doing good that. I was about to win that one. That's it. I can't keep saying that. Like, seriously, that's the exact reason. I've only won one game because of that messing up multiple times. Wow, uh, that was the shortest video I've ever seen. Wow, oh wow. I freaking told you guys this video wouldn't be that long. Bye.